Okay. Hello, my I choose folks out there. <sighs> Gotta take a deep breath because this is it's a little heavy for me and I don't want to get emotional. I just wanna send this quick um video to whomever would listen and um who whomever it's for. Um I just came from um a session and it was a real good session and um had the opportunity to be a part of witnessing the peace of God um, no I'm not getting deep I, I don't believe I'm deep enough but it was the peace of God that peace that we hear about that like really surpasses all understanding like we can't understand how this peace um, was able to just saturate the moment of anxiety the moment of fear that kind of peace and I had the honor of being able to be a part of that and it feels good um, I've always wanted to make sure that I stayed in constant awareness that the gift that God has given me it did not belong to me alone yes is there to help me um, grow and mature but the gift is really for his people and so every time I get the opportunity to walk, I like to say walk real heavy um, in the gift that God has given me and to give it to others, his people, his children. Um, I'm just, it, it's just, it, it's, it's almost being lost for words. Like I'm just so honored. So I just wanted to share with you very briefly um, that little tad bit and I want to encourage anyone out there that may be going through different things um, that may keep falling back and forth into the same sin that has entangled them or caused them to be pulled away from Holy Spirit um, to be pulled away from loved ones um, I want you to understand that God is not man we don't serve the most high as if he's man well we do but we shouldn't um, he's listen he's not surprised when you mess up he's not surprised when you go back on lord forgive me and lord i repent he's not surprised a person gets surprised when you do something other than what you said you're going to do because they don't know you through and through they know pieces of you um but your creator the most high he knows you through and through because he created you so there's nothing that you can do that would surprise him so we have to come to a place where we are not um, being us. Uh, uh, in, in my field, we have something called a cutter or a self mutilator as a person who cut themselves. We have to stop cutting ourselves. You know, when we do something that's not pleasing unto his, his presence, he understand apart from him, you are human, which means that um, you, you, you have a sinful nature and sometimes you will give into that sin. That's why he's a forgiving God. It wasn't a mistake that he said, I'm a forgiving God. It was on purpose that he said, I'm a forgiving God because he understood us apart from him that we have a sinful nature that um, we may pick that nat nature up and wear it like a fine piece of linen. So don't allow anyone um, with the heartbeat, including yourself, to condemn you over and over again because you messed up. So what? You messed up. What you gonna do about it? Don't resemble a hog and wallow. We're too beautiful. So when you mess up, get up, dust yourself off. Ask him to forgive you and keep it moving. He loves you so much that he won't leave you. We leave him. So come back, come back from picking up that sinful nature come back it's okay so I just wanted to encourage you to stop cutting yourself stop beating yourself up because you've chose to wear the sinful nature just take it off wipe yourself off talk to him start anew and keep it moving and he'll give you the peace you need he'll give you the peace to cover the anxiety he'll give you the peace to cover the depression and not just cover it, but to saturate it until it's no more. So, 
I just wanted to share that for no rhyme or reason other than just to encourage you. Be encouraged. Understand who you are and whatever change you want to make, you just have to make the choice to do it. Be blessed. I'll talk to you soon.